Thank you, Andrew. Our other top story right now, new coronavirus numbers just out this afternoon, and they aren't good. From Saturday to today, the state is reporting 2,720 new cases. That averages out to 906 cases a day. The state is also reporting eight new deaths over that three-day period. For context on that, one month ago, July 9th, the seven-day moving average was 159 cases per day. Today, that's up to more than 1,000. We want to bring in Dr. Frank McGeorge to get his reaction on this. And, Doc, how concerning is this? Well, you know, Karen and Jason, it's definitely not good, especially because those are the weekend numbers, which are usually on the lighter side of reality. Now, based on some of the CDC modeling data that I looked at last week, really the best we could have hoped for was some leveling off of new cases. But instead, I really think we're seeing the steady increase that we had hoped we could avoid. Unfortunately, when we've seen this pattern in the past, it's reasonable to expect transmission to just continue as long as there are susceptible people in the community. And given what we know is happening in the rest of the country, we are probably moving into another wave here in Michigan. The real question is just how quickly it's going to accelerate and how long it's going to last. And hopefully the non-weekend numbers later in the week are going to shed some more light on that. All right. Thank you, Doc. Appreciate the insight. Yeah.